Hey there. So uh, what you're going to do today is you're going to analyze every sentence of your essay so far. So I've given you a big packet like this. Um, and it, it feels fat because it is fat. Um, so the first page you can see it says, well first, let's put our name on it. So right there where it says name, I want you to put your first and last name on there real quick. So once you have your first draft done and printed, you're going to give me the first draft. You're going to make sure your first name and last name are on it before you print it. And you're going to put it in my hand, and then that, that's a big check mark. But now you're going to start revising it and making it better right away. So once you print it, um, you're going to pull this packet out. And now I want you to notice it says Hero Essay on it. And then it says Paragraph 1. And it goes front and back. So. <clears throat> the next page is paragraph two, and it's front and back. And the next page is paragraph three, front and back. And then you have ta -da, paragraph four. And last but not least, you have paragraph five. And then you have an extra blank piece of paper for some reason I don't know. So just enjoy that piece of paper for now. So, in paragraph one, you have to have at least five sentences. Your attention grabber, reason one, reason two, reason three, and your thesis statement. So you might, I know I have a note on my hand, you might have more than that. Some kids walking by, bye. Okay, so you might have more than that. So there's, there's space for lots of sentences. There's even space, like if you have 20 sentences, I doubt you have 20. So I'm going to go to my docs right here. So you go to your Google Docs and pull up your actual essay. And mine is right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you mine. It's coming. So here we go. Here's my essay. It starts like this. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to go at it sentence by sentence. So this is my newest one. This is one you haven't read. It's super rough. So. My first sentence, I say, at times life can be so complicated, especially if you're a shy, awkward teenager. So, what you do in that first box is you write down the first word of the sentence, and I said at. And then, so I put at in there. Yours is going to be different because you probably didn't start with at. And now I'm going to count how many um, words are in that sentence. So, I'll show you how. I, I'm just going to, you know, count. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So then in the next box I write down fifteen. Because for me, I had fifteen words in that sentence. And now here comes the hard part. You have to know your thought your parts of speech. So you have to write down the verbs you used. So I used can be and are were the verbs that I used in that sentence. And the wow words would be kind of like, you know, a little bit fancier, a little bit more formal, a little more descriptive words. Um, and so in this one, I'm going to say awkward. is It's just not something that we say all the time. So I'm going to say that's a wow word. And then in this essay about the hero, we don't have domain specific words. So I'm going to skip that entirely. I'm going to crisscross it out and not worry about it. So then I go to my next sentence. Uh, I start and I say, she is a good listener and I feel like I can talk to her about anything. So the first word is she. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 words in that sentence. So I write down 16 words in that second sentence. And I have the verb is and feel. You might just have one verb. I have com complex sentences um, and can talk. So remember a verb is a state of being or an action. And we have helping verbs. Um, and then a wow word. Ooh. So in this sentence, she is a good listener and I feel like I can talk to her about anything. I don't feel like I have a wow word. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you this, I'm just going to open another tab on my computer here. So I'm going to open up a tab 
and I'm going to go thesaurus dot com now I have a thesaurus now at my fingertips because I have the world wide web and now you do too so I'm going to look at one of my words. So it says she's a good listener and I feel like I can talk to her about anything. So I'm going to try to find a different word for listener and listener is a noun. So I'm going to make sure I find a noun and I'm going to make sure that it makes sense. So I'm going to put it into the search there. I want a listener. I want it as not a verb but a noun. <sighs> so sometimes you have to dig through it a little bit. Oh. Um, I'm not seeing what I like. Listener as a noun. Oh, listener. They give me nothing. So, I'm not going to use listener. I'm going to find another one. Um, talk. Let's see if there's another a better word to say talk. You know, just to spice it up a little bit. Oh, communicate. Um, chatter. No. And let's see, I'm looking for my list here. So you yeah, kind of have to dig a little bit there. And it's going to come up with a little list. Uh, prattle, discourse. So you come to synonyms, the part where it says synonyms. So it looks something like this. So I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take discuss because to me it makes very good sense. So I'm going to write it down discuss. And I'm going to change it right here right now. And I feel like I can discuss anything. So I have to change the sentence a little bit. I can discuss anything with her. So I've just revised my essay. I've just revised it and I hopefully I made it better. We're going to keep going over it and adding more. So you're going to keep doing all first paragraph. And you need to go at least to the fifth sentence. Because if you don't have five sentences in your first paragraph, you've lost your structure. So your structure is from that um, outline. So hopefully you have that. And then when you get to the second paragraph, make sure you turn the page. Make sure you go to the second paragraph. You should have all this full. All this will be filled with uh, data, except for domain-specific words. You're not going to have anything for domain-specific words. And then you're going to go on to paragraph three and such. Now, what I want you to look at. So here I am back at paragraph one. So I have 15 words in the first sentence. I have 16 words in the second sentence. And I'm thinking about the third sentence. So I'm just going to look at it real quick. It says, we have a lot of common interests. So I'm going to go ahead and put we. And then the verb is have uh, a lot of common interests. I don't think common is super uh, wow word. So let's go see if I can find something else. I also have uh, book thesauruses here in the classroom. They're white and green. You can grab one. Um, let's see. Ooh, united. So there's all kinds of things in here that we could use, but then we go to um, our synonyms. It's the internet is frozen. Come on, come on. Mutual. That's a good one. Mutual. M-U-T-U-A-L. So let's see if it works in my essay. Uh, we have a lot of mutual. Hmm, we have a lot of mutual interests. That's ah, okay. A lot, though. I don't really like a lot. So, let's see. If I can find a synonym that's better than a lot. Let's see what they have here. A lot. Ooh, they have, they have a lot of a lot. Super funny. Actually, they don't. Um, ooh, how about... How about a great deal? How about many? How about something else but a lot? So I'm looking at many now. Ooh, okay. So, hmm, multifarious, a myriad, diverse, various, 
Innumerable? Ooh, I kind of like innumerable. So let's try innumerable. We have innumerable interests in. So what I'm trying to get at is as you add wow words to your essay, think about if they fit. Um, think about how the words are constructed together. And it's going to take some time, but guess what? When you put time into your essay and your writing, your writing is really good because writing takes a lot of time. I'm a big believer that when you're writing an essay, that's what you're doing for 10 days. You're, you're writing an essay and it takes a lot of time. So I've just um, added innumerable, but I'm going to polish that sentence a tiny bit. I'm going to say innumerable shared interests. And I like that sentence better. So it starts with we, it has two, four, five words in that. So I've just written that down. And then my fourth sentence says not. It says not only this, my mom just gets me. Um, so two, four, six, eight, eight words. And my verb is gets. And I don't have a wow word. So gets is easy to understand, but there's something about gets that works great because, you know, people understand when somebody gets you, um, it makes it really clear. So I'm not sure I'm going to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bold gets. And that means that the little note to me that maybe if I find a better way to say it, I'll come back and change it and I can find it really, really easily. But you don't want to do that too much. If you have too much bold, you'll be like, I don't know what I was doing. Um, two, four, six, eight. I have eight words, and I don't have one, so I'm going to leave that blank for now. And now I'm going to go to my thesis statement. Without is my starter. Without a doubt, my mom has had the greatest impact on my life. Urgh. I'm going to say impact is a wow word. It's not super wow, but it's 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 decent. Um, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Ooh, I have unlucky thirteen, and has had. So I had those all down there. So you you can't copy this part, but you can kind of see what I'm getting at now. When I have a paragraph done, now look at your your um, first words. You want to make sure they're different. So if it's she, 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 or he, 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 <laughs> you might want to change some of them. Take some of them out. Take out half. Take out two-thirds. Um, you want to be careful here. You want to make sure you have varied sentences. So I don't really like that I have a 15 and a 16 and a 13, so I'm going to play around with that a little bit. Um, here are my verbs. Am I using different kinds of verbs? Like that would be an easy one to, to spice up a little bit. And then I want to look at my wow words because I think my, my first paragraph is still pretty flat. It's not sending it all. I, you know, it's just sort of like, hmm. But I'm just starting this. I'm just starting it and I'm going to look at it some more. So your job is to start with paragraph one. And you will have today, Friday, and you will have Monday to work on it because your second draft is going to be due Tuesday. So pretty much you're, you're just working through analyzing it. You'll have, I'm not positive about how much time you'll have on Tuesday, but you want to try to get most of this done. Uh, maybe a paragraph or two over the weekend. So then Monday, you just have to finish it up. So Tuesday, really and truly, we could do a shared uh, activity with a partner and then you print and you're good on your second draft. So, hope things are good. Hope you have questions. Uh, come see me if you do. And uh, good luck analyzing every single sentence of your essay. It's so good for you. I know you're like, yes, I won the lottery. Anyway, okay, bye.